All right, hello everybody, I'm Adam Rucker, and you're here for one of several reasons. You're either here because of the title of this video and it showed up in your feed and looked interesting, you're here because you were searching for videos like this, or you're here because you were watching my other video, um, my 2014 year-end recap, and I dropped a nugget of information that I had been in a relationship, and I never really talk about relationships, so I said to come here if you want to hear more about that. So regardless of how you got here, welcome and let's do this. So the video was called How I Came Out because, um, well, there's several reasons. I have seen, okay, I'm gay, so let's get that out of the way. Um, so this video was not about that. It's not about that fact that probably most of you already knew or had assumed or I've told you. Um, in the past. So you've either known me personally and we've just, we've had that conversation. Um, you've assumed it and rightfully so because of things, clues, you follow me, I don't know. Um, or you didn't know, in which case, welcome. And that's, that's great. I, I don't, it doesn't bother me any which way you came to find out. Um, it, what I'm more concerned about is the process of how I kind of came to this and how I told the people important to me in my life. And I've seen kind of other videos in the past, and, and, and let me make it very clear, I'm not throwing shade on anybody for how they handle this um, process, because it's, it's so unique and personal to each individual person, because I have, I have many friends that are, have been through the process or are going through the process, and it's, it's weird. It, it depends on who you're friends are and who your family is and and the the situation that you're in how you do it so um but I've always seen you know coming out videos and thought I never want I never want a video to be how I come out so I'll just say that I'm already out so this video isn't a, a way for me to come out I think the important people in my life know I've told them we've had those conversations and that's how I came out um, and so this is just kind of to fill the rest of you in who either might be going through the process or might have friends or family who you think might need to go through the process or have in the past and you didn't quite understand. So I just, um, wanted to talk a little bit about that. And people always ask, you know, like, how long, how long did you know you were gay? And I don't really know, you know, I, I don't, sure there were signs and there were clues. People always say like, well, I noticed he was playing with dolls when he was four instead of playing with trucks. That doesn't make you gay. Sorry, it doesn't. Um, and I noticed he really liked clothes or he put his mom's um, high heels on. Again, doesn't mean you like other boys. You know, there, there's so many things that I think... Um, people, and it it's usually people who don't understand, and so I don't really blame them because it, it makes it easier to make sense of it all in your head. Oh, they really like fashion. That, and, and girls like fashion, so therefore he's like a girl and likes boys. Not always the case. Sometimes, yes, it is the case. But um, So there was nothing really easy like that for me to point to. Like, yeah, I kind of have like a high-pitched voice and I like funny things. I like Disney and I like um, singing and, and laughing and I don't know, anything that you, you might have noticed about me and thought, is he, is he gay? Um, but, but none of those things make you gay. They're just things about you. And so I struggled with it a lot because when people would tell me, YouTubers, I'm sure none of you, um, YouTubers years and years ago would just leave comments like, oh, this dude's gay, or this dude's a beep, or this dude's whatever. And I just, I'd, I'd take it really hard because I didn't even know at the time, like, what, what to think. I, I didn't even know how that would I didn't know how deeply that would affect me. And then people think, oh, well, is that why you turned out gay? Because people told you? No. Again, it's not, it's not that easy. You can't make someone gay. 
you can really torture them with your words and you can torture them with the way you treat them and make them feel horrible about themselves. But as powerful as you are, you're not going to change their sexuality. It just, that's not how it works. So, um, I wish it was that easy because then people could talk me into being straight if I wanted to be straight. And honestly, I don't care either way what I am. And it took a long time to really grasp that concept of it, it doesn't matter. Baby, it doesn't matter. You know, I have, I have people in my life that I try to figure it out, like, well, are they or aren't they? And it doesn't matter. What I want for my friends and what I want for my family is for you to be happy as who you are. So what I did when I finally like had this, okay, this is who you are and you love it and you love yourself and let's rock this life. When I had that moment, it was actually pretty easy to start um, to start the process. And at the same time, I started to kind of have this new possible relationship with the guy that I ended up having a relationship with in 2014. And that was another motivating factor for me to tell the people important to me in my life that I was this way. And newsflash, they all knew already. It, it wasn't a big secret revealed, but they were giving me the time and the space to um, come to that on my own. Because at the end of the day, you might think you know what your best friend is, and you might think you know what he likes or what she likes, but you don't because you're not in their head. And so when I talk to people about it, it's like you have to have this understanding that whatever worked best for you isn't the same for whatever works best for someone else, even if there's so many similarities. And I have a friend who y'all have never met, so I can talk about this, but I have a friend, and he probably won't see this video either, um, who, you know, I am... I'm pretty sure he's, we're on the same track here. Um, and now that I'm on this side of things, I want to be like, hey, it's so much better over here. Life is so much easier. And it's, it's really hard to imagine that when you are not um, out. It's really hard to imagine. And people, I remember watching interviews with people and they'd be like, Ugh, I finally came out and this huge weight just lifted off my shoulders. Um, but it's true. You aren't deceiving people anymore. You aren't thinking you're deceiving people anymore. Um, and there is something to be said about not really embracing who you are. And I always thought I was embraced. I always thought I was like, I was like, I've always been myself. And I will say that in my videos, I feel like I have always been myself. I don't try to be straight. I never tried to, to come off any different way than I am. Um... And I think that's why this transition was kind of so easy. It's like, I haven't acted any differently, and I don't act any differently now. Did y'all see that? Something just flew across the screen. That was really weird. Um, I don't act any differently now, but I can't, I can't be in his head, and I can't tell him. I can't, I can't fully explain that, and I can't... Cut on been sitting on my feet now they're asleep I can't necessarily explain that to um to someone who might be in a different situation that I don't quite understand so the process was um I told my parents and my siblings at the in the order and rate that I felt that I could I told my friends the same way um gradually and every time it got easier and it went from, I have to tell my mom and dad, to when can I get a hold of so-and-so so I can get this over with? Like, it went from really dreading it and dragging it on and on and on to just being like, hey, I, I, I need, the one person I texted and was like, hey, I really, it's been hard to get a hold of you. I've got to tell you that I'm gay, so can we get together soon? And they were like, uh, yes, tomorrow, tonight. Um... You know, so it, it gets easier as you go. And all I will say about how I came out is that 
you know, I really just, I, it takes accepting yourself, which again, a lot of people think they're accepting themselves, but if you're not being open about who you are with your friends and your family and the people that are important to you, you're not because you are, you are holding back a part of you so that they might not judge you or you're holding back a part of you so that they might not leave you. And as difficult as that is to, as, as harsh maybe as it is for me to say, like, well, they don't stick around with you after you tell them who you are, then they're not really, not really that great. Or they don't, they don't love you unconditionally. So a lot of, and I think any parent I've ever known says, I love my child unconditionally. Well, this is one of those things. So it shouldn't shouldn't change the way they feel about you. Um, and it takes some time. You know, I don't think a lot of the people in my life, crazily enough, some of them I don't think knew a lot of gay people or knew that they knew a lot of gay people. And so I am one of the first for them. And that made me nervous because I'm like, well, if I'm the first gay person they know, then they're not going to know like how to act around me and this is going to be difficult. And it is. Newsflash, th it's not easy. It's not easy. Some of them are going to be like, uh, who cares? And some of them are going to be like, okay, this is going to take a minute to really sink in. And that's okay. You need to give them that time. Do you know how long it took me to accept it? 26 years or 25. I don't know how old I was. It was before my 26th birthday. So 25 years. So I gave myself 25 years. You can give your friends and family a couple months, you know, or whatever, whatever it takes, as long as they are on a path and they, they say they want to support you and understand it. Give them that time. It's weird. It can be weird for people. If they've known you as one way and you've presented this this person to them and now you're telling them, actually, I'm like, I'm not um, this. It takes a minute to transition and that's okay. And I think that was another thing I had to, I had to tell myself and remind myself. It's like, just because people aren't right on board from the get-go um, doesn't mean they're not like not good people and doesn't mean they won't come around. It's just pe different people have different exposures to gay people, um, to different lifestyles, different, um, different types of people. And I have different, I, I just am lucky that I've known a lot of gay people. And so I'm familiar with, you know, that I'm, f I'm familiar with it, but I'm still learning. There's there's aspects of it that I don't know, that I'm not an expert in. And that's okay. It's It takes a lot of understanding from people on all sides to really, um, to really make things work. So I would say a big thank you to my family and my friends. And if you are a family or friend, family member or friend of mine, and I haven't had a personal conversation with you, um, I think you've had conversations with other people who might have confirmed this for you. Um, and so it's it's not a slight or a, uh, it's not meant to be anything uh, offensive. It's just, I think the people that need to know, know at this point. And so I feel comfortable talking about it openly with the rest of the people that know me um, through YouTube and whatnot. So I hope in some way this is, this is helpful, and I think the only advice I would give to people, so the advice I would give to someone who is not out of the closet yet is to take your time, however long you need. It's not a race. It's not, no one should judge you for for your process. Um because they don't understand your process. But at the same time, be aware that there are people there and notice the people who are there 
for you clearly who are trying to be a support system to you um, who maybe can't don't feel like they can say something because they're waiting for you and I I now looking back I know that there were people in my life who were saying hey Adam I, I'm here literally just open up to me and I'll help you make this easier and I'm trying to do that for other people in my life now and I would never force them out. I'm never going to like ask them openly or, or tell them that they need to reveal themselves. Um, but I would say, yes, take your time. Do it at your own pace. Do it on your own terms, however you want. If you want to make a YouTube video and tell everyone at once, do that. If you want to um, write people individual letters and send them, that was what I did with one of my um, close family members was I... I knew that a conversation might be difficult. That's another thing I did is everyone was different. So I did it differently for each person, kind of custom, <laughs> custom coming out. Um, so this person I wanted, I knew that they would have a lot of questions and I knew that they would be valid questions. And so I wanted to, rather than have a really quick back and forth, I wanted to just answer those questions for them. And so I did, I, I wrote it out in a long letter and um, I had a lot of support along the way in that process. And so if it takes writing out letters to all these people, do that. If you want to have a family dinner, I mean, whatever you want to do, don't feel guilty about the way you do it because you don't owe anyone anything when it comes to telling them who you are. But I would just say... Be proud of who you are, and it's so cliche, like, I'm proud of me, I'm proud to be gay, or whatever. Um, and people kind of, like, straight people kind of were like, Oof, I don't have to be proud to be straight. It's not about that they're like, yes, I'm gay, yes, I win. You're going, yes, I'm gay, and I'm still happy to be me, and I'm actually, like, thrilled to be me. It's a yes and, not yes that. So, um, do that. And for people who are on the other side or are trying to help or trying to understand, I would just say, um, this isn't about you. What? It's not, what did you, it's not about me. It's not about you. Um, this is about them. This is their, this is their story. It's not about you. So, um, if you want to continue to be a part of that story in their life, then support them because you've got things in your life that if you had to sit there and explain things about yourself, why you're a certain way or why you do this, or why you do that, um, I bet it'd be more difficult to explain than, than what they're explaining. So give them the benefit of the doubt that they didn't choose this, that they didn't walk out and think, hmm. What could make my life harder? Make me potentially lose friends and family? <sighs> what could I do? Oh, I'll just be gay. No one does that. That's not a thing. So be supportive and be understanding, as understanding as you can be. Ask questions. If you're confused about something, ask questions. Ask me. You can leave a comment. If you're confused about it, I'll try to answer them, but just be supportive because I'm assuming if you're in this person's life right now, you want to continue to be a part of their life. So um, I'm almost out of space on my computer, so I need to wrap this up, but um, thank you for watching. If there are any follow-up questions that you have, leave them in a comment below, um, and I'll follow up with you. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this answered some questions. I'm probably not going to, you know, talk about a lot of relationship stuff in my videos because it's just not my style. I don't, I, I just don't, that I talk about Disney, I talk about travel, and I talk about friends that I'm with. You'll see people in, that I'm in relationships with probably in videos. Um, I might not point that out, but if you figure it out, all more power to you. Uh, so anyway, most of all, I just thank you for the people who are watching who have supported me all this time and who will continue to support me. You're amazing and wonderful, and I feel the love um, from each and every one of you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for caring. I don't know how long this has gone on. Probably 20 minutes, but 
Um, I hope you have a great day, night, week, year, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.